to KK Cabaret where I talk about all things vintage, old school lifestyle, handicrafts that are kind of fading into the past. And I just want to give you guys an update on what I'm going to be doing with the channel this year. So Happy New Year. This is like my come back uh, from holidays. It took me a while to wind down. We were moving my mom out of state. And now that she's fully moved in, I can get more comfortable at home and get back to the things that I like to do. So I just wanted to talk about the things I was going to be doing this year as far as the channel, things I want to share because I'm not a big channel, but I do like sharing these things and I feel like there's just no one out there or there is, but it's a small community of people out there sharing the things that I want to share. So I would like to say that I'm like not going to be doing any type of big shopping hauls or anything from fast fashion, which I already don't advocate for fast fashion, but I'm definitely not going to be doing huge fashion hauls that are like hundreds of dollars worth of things because I have a theme this year of more conserving our money. How do I do things without spending a lot of money? How do I um, have fun without spending tons of money? And consumerism and capitalism is just a problem in this country. So I would like to steer us away from having to buy things to feel validated or to feel like you're a part of something and then just show you what you can do with what you already have. Now, that being said, I own a lot of things. I am a collector. I am a vintage girly. I literally have been in this niche, in this category for a long time. Like I have been doing this since I was a teenager. So I still have a lot of things and I would like to share the things that I have, um, that I've collected. Cause why not? I have you know, people that come to my house and see it, but I haven't really shown the world, which it just seems fun. I have a massive vintage reproduction shoe collection, which is just, yeah. I have a lot of vintage clothing and vintage reproduction clothes. I will also be sewing clothes this year because I don't want to be shopping. I would rather just use up my fabric stash and see what I can make with what I already have. And um, I have like, vintage reproduction lingerie or vintage lingerie. I have, um, oh my gosh, so many things that I could show you. I have vintage kitchen utensils. I have lots of vintage Pyrex. I have vintage style furniture. I do a lot of things like I would rather buy it old than buy it new. So I've been doing that for years. I have vintage makeup. I do vintage hair. So these are all things that I would like to share how to do or what I have. So that way you guys can see and see if that's something you would want to do in your life too. I also love fashion and I've been, fashion? Why did I say it like that? I love fashion and I have been dressing my body in all sizes and all eras of my life. And I used to be 350 pounds. So I have been doing this for such a long time. I lost a lot of weight and I have changed my clothes. Some of the clothes I still have from then that I've just pieced into other items or, you know, I just have been collecting. I would like my wardrobe to be a forever wardrobe, things I have until I'm an old lady that I don't have to buy any more stuff. So I sew and I alter my own clothing to fit my body that has been ever changing through kids, through weight loss, through a little bit of weight gain, through weight loss again. It's just an ever, you know, our bodies evolve. I like to have the skills to make sure that I don't have to go out and buy more clothes every month. So I would like to show you how either I alter my clothing or just show you how to build a wardrobe that is a forever wardrobe for you and your style. These things are important to me. So um, those are things I would like to share also with little hobbies and little crafts that I feel are just by gone. So other than that, I would like to share things like the crafts that I do. I sew. I would like to show you guys how to handwrite letters, how to send letters. I am actually going to be starting a Patreon, I think, that um, is going to be fun because I will send thank you notes or um, for my pinup admirers, I will send one of a kind um, Polaroids of a pinup pose and a thank you note every month is what I am planning on doing for this year. 
and it's just to like spread my passion for things that are vintage old school things um hobbies that just seem like they're not getting much attention anymore handmade gifts homemade food um i'm very big on food being whole and homemade and just i'm not i don't do fast food i don't do out to eat um we cook everything at home and we love it so i'd love to share that i make sourdough bread my daughter bakes i love to cook at home little simple recipes another thing i like to do is gardening this year i'm going to be learning how to can the food that i garden i usually freeze foods like make chilies and freeze them for later and stuff but this year i really would like to learn how to preserve foods my grandparents used to do it they lived through the great depression i would really love to bring that back it's all coming up i've seen people posting about it but i would like to be someone sharing that too so along with my victory gardening i will be showing how i am learning i am not going to be a professional teaching but i am learning how to can this year and i would love to share that and um we're gonna get chickens because where i live i can have chickens and i think that's gonna be it for my little like homesteading like victory garden victory yard um but i'm very much into like the 1940s way of make do and mend we garden for victory we garden and i mean victory for like ourselves because inflation is a thing and we are spending a lot of money on groceries a week and i would rather just teach my kids how to mend their clothing how to make things last longer how to garden their own food and how to preserve it i want my kids to learn these things so that in the future they do not have a hard time like many of us do so if these things are things that you're into other than my pinup and burlesque type stuff which i do have like i said i have much collections of these things and i will be showing things but it's all under the umbrella of just a vintage lifestyle based in like the 1940s way of doing things when things were tough back then because we are going into an economy that things are getting tough again so instead of spending tons of money and doing huge hauls which i do have like a little thrift haul from being out in arizona that's where i am right now but other than that like it's mostly just how to live and use those bygone eras of tried and true things to do to live a more sustainable life but using those vintage techniques if that makes sense so i hope that you stay around i hope that you enjoy what i post if you are into these things please like comment share um, make sure you hit the bell notifications subscribe and i will be posting once a week so this is going to be a really fun year for us bye